What are you missing at Ancestry? What is Ancestry's least used resource? The thing that people miss the most? It's the catalog. Now, before I go in much further, let me tell you, I when I talk to genealogists, people either love it or they hate it, and there's usually no in between. Personally, I find the catalog sometimes difficult to navigate, and as a result, I don't use it as often as I should. But let me tell you that there are thousands, probably millions of records in the catalog that are not gonna show up in a hint, and that are even not gonna show up in a search. They may not even be indexed yet. And so a lot of times we don't take advantage of the catalog. So how do you use the catalog? Today, I'm gonna to tell you all about it. I'm gonna just very quickly tell you some of the best strategies on how to successfully use the Ancestry catalog. I'm Amy and I wanna help you find your ancestors. Stick with me if you want to make the most out of your family history research. Let's take genealogy to the next level. All right, so where do you even begin? Where's the catalog? Maybe you don't even know where the catalog is. Let me show you. Go up here to the top to search. And the down drop menu, you want to go here to the card catalog, okay? All right, so now we have the card catalog. And what they will do by default is they're going to source by their newest records. So this Missouri U.S. slave owner compensation claims, wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And um, there's only 143 records in that, but that could really help somebody that's researching enslaved ancestors in Missouri. But you've got California U.S. early auto registrations. Here you have the 1931 Census of Canada that was indexed in record time. And Wisconsin divorce records. Anyway, you get to see the latest records that they have and you can click on any of these. But let's say you're looking for a particular record. I interviewed Krista Cowan at the National Genealogical Society conference very recently and we talked a little bit about this. And one of the things that she told me is that sometimes it's better to try and to just kind of search by location. You can put the state or the state and county in a record and then you can filter it. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna type in here, Missouri. All right, and then I'm just gonna do search. Now this gives me all of the records that have Missouri in the title and there's 272 of them. Now that's a lot. Now let's say I want military records from Missouri. I can click on this and then I can look at what they have. Or I can go back and I can look at birth, marriage, death records, and then that will narrow it down to that, that type of a thing. Now, let's say the record title does not have Missouri in it, which is possible, but you want records from Missouri. So then you wanna put it under the keyword. So when we do that, now we have 7,558 records right here. And I can, again, narrow it down here. I can look at maybe state census records by the year if they had them. I can knock this down and I can look at, it kind of sub breaks things out and I can look at their various, they have birth, baptism, christenings, death, burial, cemetery, marriage and divorce. They divided those into those three topics. So you can use that as well to narrow things down for you. So that's a great way to go through the catalog. Another way that you should search besides state and county is by city. Let me give you an example. Let's put in San Francisco. Now San Francisco is part of San Francisco County, but here we have a lot of records that pertain to San Francisco. Well, there's 42 of them, but still they're really nice records. San Francisco Immigration Office minutes, registers of Chinese laborers returning to the United States if you're of Chinese origin, huge, okay? Um, a lot of really great records here, funeral home records, 115,000 records, okay? But now let's change that. That was 42 records if I put it in the title. Now if I put it in the keywords, we've got 116 records. U.S. Partnerships of lo Chinese Law Firms, that's a brand new record. That's really interesting. All right, some railroad employee cards. See here we have California US Chinese Arrival Case Files Index. That doesn't have the word San Francisco in it. That's why it didn't come up in the first, but it's coming up now. US Merchant Marine Applications. That would be amazing. And I will say sometimes it's a matter of spelling if you're looking for a particular thing. Let me give you an example. Let's say I'm trying to find a shortcut to the slave, the federal slave schedules. So if I write slave schedule, in the title, I've got nothing. And this is what would happen to me more often than not. If I add an S to it, now I have the federal slave schedules. Another thing that I can do to move around that is I can use the keyword. I can type in slave schedule. I'm gonna just do it 
um, singularly because this is where I frequently would make my mistakes. And now look what I've got here because the 1830 and 1840 census includes slaves. So it really did have a slave schedule. But a lot of times we don't think about that. So you want to try various options in order to get to the records that you want. Now, some of these records that we're looking for will come up in a search, but maybe it's going to be really hard for you to find and you want to go right to that record group. I want to put directory because I love Ancestry's directory database. I love the, the phone books that they have, but I'm not seeing that here. Okay, it's not coming up. So I'm going to change this to directories and let's see what I have. I still am not seeing it here. Okay. And so I could scroll down further, but um, now let's see if I put it in the keywords directory. I'm still not seeing the one that I'm looking for. Now here it is way down here. Okay. So I got to tell you, this is my hack. Okay. Okay. When it's something that I know Ancestry has, but I can't remember how to find it, a Google search is more effective. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go up here in the search bar and I'm going to type in US directories Ancestry, okay? Because I want them to find it in Ancestry. And it's the first hit, well, almost the sponsored hits first, but this is the first hit. This is the database that I wanted to go to. And it's gonna take me straight to that database. So, that's how I go around it. I use that all the time. Like, let's say you want to find Freedman Bureau's, um, Freedman Bureau, Reg it's Freedman, ah, let's spell it wrong. Freedman Bureau Records Ancestry. And now I have it, first hit. This is their overall description of the Freedman Bureau Records, but if I go to this one, this is the actual database where I can put in information. There we go. So that's my hack when I'm struggling with the catalog. My advice to you is don't give up on the catalog. Utilize it. It's a great resource. It's something that you need. Um, get a little bit flexible in how you find things in the catalog and follow Krista's admonition to, to search by state or by county and state, if you know that. That will help you narrow down the records that you're wanting to find. Um, good luck in, our, in your searches. I hope you'll be able to use this feature of Ancestry that a lot of people miss that is definitely an underused feature. Check out these other videos. Give this video a like if it's been of help to you and have a great day. Thanks.